Morning, Miss Ida. I'm sorry, am I late? I thought we didn't open till 10. No, we don't. Uh, you the new waitress? Yes, sir. I'm Marjorie. Uh, Roy, nice to meet you. Uh, hang on a second. I'll be right back and I'll show you the ropes, okay? Sure. Hello, ma'am. Terribly sorry to bother you. Are you gonna order anything? If you're not gonna order, I ask that you give up your seat for one of our customers that's waiting. Oh, no, I didn't mean, I just meant that we have customers that are waiting to be seated. My fiance will be here any moment. All right. What the hell is she doing? Well, can I get you something to eat while you wait? You've been here since 9 a.m. You must be- Come on. You harass Miss Ida? No, sir. It's just, she's been here since before we opened. She hasn't ordered a single thing. We have customers that are waiting to be seated. First day here, and you think you can start running the place? No, sir. I'd just like to help it run a little smoother. When I took over this restaurant from my father, he says, we take care of Miss Ida. All right, she comes here every day. We give her a meal just after the lunch rush and at dinner. She's here every day? Doesn't miss. And her fiance? Fiance? She just told me that her fiance will be here any moment. Wait, she talked to you? Yes. She's been coming here 20 some odd years. She's never said a word to me, any of us. Let me know if she says anything else, all right? Get back to work. Hello, Miss Ida. May I speak with you? Of course. I'm sorry that your fiance hasn't showed up. Is everything okay? Oh, he's just running late. He's never been good at being on time. <laughs> well, we are about to close. Maybe I got the day wrong. Is it not Friday? No, ma'am, it's Monday. Goodness, I am very far off. Is it even still 1937? <laughs> so sorry. No need to be sorry, it's quite all right. I'll be right back. Everything all right? She's not well. She thinks it's 1937. You're kidding. No. Miss Ida keeps calling for someone called Mary. Who's Mary? Well, I suppose that's me. Were you calling me, ma'am? What are you calling me ma'am for? Like I'm some old woman. Like we haven't been best friends since my ma started working at your house, changing our diapers together. Of course. I'm so sorry. You have been by my side as long as James has. <laughs> what does it say? James wrote this just for me. Look, it even says, for your eyes only. <laughs> well, it doesn't say anything about ears. I'm just gonna sit here, close my eyes, and listen. That's not going to go against his wishes now, is it? <gasps> hmm. I suppose that's within the rules. <laughs> OK, perfect. I'm ready. Promise not to tell a soul. <clears throat> My dearest Ida, <laughs> I wanted to let you know how beautiful you look today. Your eyes sparkled under the sun, peeking through the branches of our special tree. Ida, you are my moon and stars. You are my whole world, James. And I promise I will get you a real one as soon as I tell my parents. No. No, I love it. I don't need anything else. You. Look, 
kind of house do you want? I don't need anything big. Just enough room for each kid. Each kid? Hmm. How many are you thinking? <laughs> Three. We'll have a pair of twin girls and then a boy. And the twins can share a room. Ah, yes. The twins. <laughs> <laughs> and then our front room can have a ceiling that's high enough to fit a big, tall Christmas tree. I can make that work. <laughs> James? Yes? Your family, I just... Hey. There is nothing that anyone can do to make me stop loving you. And I don't care what people say about us, I promise to love you forever. He's wonderful. But you already knew that. You and James have always gotten along so well. Have you two set a date yet? Yes. On my next birthday, I will become Mrs. James Lively. That's my dad's name. What? My dad is James Lively. Miss Ida? What an odd thing to say. Don't be silly, Mary. What is all this about? Did we get a new house? No. Ida, there's something I need to tell you. Is everything okay? Ida, I'm so sorry. What is it? I never meant to do this to you. Do what to me? James. You let them get to you. No. You're scared no, of me. No. No, Ida. I still want to be with you. I still love you. But. She's pregnant. <sighs> who? Who is it? James, who is it? It's Mary. Dearest friend Mary, how dare you? How dare you? You, you are my whole world. Honey, you are my whole world, James. James. <laughs> he left me here. I waited. I thought he would realize he got it wrong. I wanted to be here when he returned. But he came back to me. You look like her. Sorry I'm late. Are you the owner? Here's to yes, I'm Marjorie. The moon and stars. Just remember 